Welcome to the Christmas special of Open Computers. I've been working on a little feature for the last two weeks or so, and this is basically the time I will announce it. It's not the Tier 2 microcontroller. Um, that is a thing, though. Uh, as you can see, it takes a Tier 2 card now, so bundled redstone is a thing. It also allows wireless redstone, uh, wireless networking. Uh, I think that's okay anyway. It's limited to a complexity of 5, so that should regulate it quite nicely. The reason I am mentioning this is that the actual new feature requires the microcontroller in its recipe. So, as you might imagine, this is also a device crafted in the assembler. It does have a proper image and name, of course. This is to, just to avoid spoilering for a few more minutes. And then let's get some more stuff. Right. So, when I place this new case type in the assembler, you can see it's pretty much a device like most others. It takes a CPU, some RAM, all the common stuff and let's make a simple one for now and then we of course need an EP ROM so some BIOS to run the whole thing. Uh, I've prepared a little program on this computer so I think it's in here. So I have a BIOS and a program to run on this computer and let's flash this real quick so I can show you BIOS real quick, so this is basically just a program that waits for network messages and then executes them as uh, functions. So it receives some command, uh, loads it as a function, and then sends back the result of running said function. So let's flash this to the BIOS. And then we can use that to finally the RC. Finally, built our new little toy. And voila! It's a drone! Yay! Drones! So, drones are basically robots, but they are entities, so they actually fly around in the world and are not blocks that move. Uh, they can not place or break blocks for now. Uh, and they also cannot use tools, but they have an inventory. They also need the inventory upgrade to have an inventory. Um, they get a few fewer slots per upgrade than uh, robots. So normally one inventory upgrade will give you, I think, 16 slots, and for here it's only four, so you need two inventory upgrades to get all the eight slots provided in the drone. Um, it doesn't use energy for now because I do not have any energy mod in my development environment. Alright, so as you can see here it also has a screen. Uh, I'm not using this in the program right now, but you can plot some output here. Uh, it's just basically two lines of text. Um, right, and if I turn it on, it starts floating, and now I can send commands to it. So if I start my little client program, this allows me basically to tell the drone to do stuff. So. I think, for example, let's just uh, do this. I hope this is the right name for the method. I'm not sure. Yes. So you can change this display however you like to display some information about the status of the drone if you like. Right. So what can I do with this drone now? I can send it around. So it has movement. Um, the movement works by basically changing the target coordinate of the drone. So the signature of the move method is it takes three numbers, which are the relative coordinates to move to. So when I start a drone, it will automatically center to the um, block it is currently in. And after that, when I tell it to move somewhere, it moves uh, relative to its current position. So if I tell it to uh, move up one block, so it's uh, x, y, z and world coordinates, then it'll move up one block. And if I tell it to move, uh, I 
think it's this direction. Nope, not this direction. Anyway, it still moves, but in the wrong direction. Uh, I think this is the right one. Yep, so I wanted to go over the chest because I built an inventory control upgrade in it, so I can then do things like uh, get the proxy for the uh, inventory controller and then I can check for the... Uh, so zero is uh, down, it's the sides in them, but the animation is not in the BIOS of course, so I have to use the plain numbers. And then because I have no serialization, I can't send tables, so I will just get the name to check. And I did something wrong apparently. Oh right, the slot number. My bad. Right. So it's some item from Open Computers. Surprise. We'll use that later. So that's about that, the basic way to control the drones. Um the rest behaves like any other compo uh, robot or computer, so you have your uh, basic stuff you can use from your BIOS. Um, that's what we can do with a simple one. Now let's build something a little more sophisticated. Um, <clears throat> so let's build in a tank upgrade. It can use those two. And one new upgrade, which is the leash upgrade. And I need a BIOS. So let's just uh, use the BIOS in this drone by recrafting it with an empty BIOS that gives us back the BIOS that was in the drone. So if I hold shift, I see the components spilled into the drone. And now I see it's just a simple EEP ROM. And now I have this, can plug it in here and build my better drone. Let's turn this one off because we use the same port for the messages so weird things would happen. And let's put this one down here and turn it on. Alright, by the way, um, to pick them back up you shift right click them which turns them back into an item and then you can pick them up. So we don't need you anymore. Right, so now we have this drone. Uh, let's restart a client real quick. And then we can tell this drone to move, oops, move above the water, right. And then we can use the tank upgrade to uh, not suck, to drain whatever is below us. So you'll see it removed the water block, which is why it's now flowing into this block. And of course I can fill it back in. Right. So much for that. So you can use uh, inventories and tank upgrades as in robots, but well, more flexibly because you can move around quite a bit faster than with robots and diagonally, so that's also quite neat. Now let's test the final upgrade, which is the uh, leash upgrade. So let's move to over oh, where well, sheep are, which I think. I think I noted this down is something around no oh wait that's a minus two there I think and now you're stuck on the floor you little dummy there you go right and that was which direction I always forget oh right it was plus two not minus two oh and now I moved it somewhere I didn't want to let's undo this let's move it here let's see where is it now there it is. So now I want to move it over here. This is totally not confusing at all. What are you doing? Are you even doing anything? Are you still talking to me? Oh, it's not talking to me. There you go. And two more. And there we go. Now it's over the sheep, as you can see. And now we can get the leash upgrade, which is called leash. So if you get the proxy for it, again, uh, leash. And then we can use that, oops, to um, leash entities or animals rather, anything that is leashable. 
uh, if that's a word. Anyway, uh, this also takes a direction, so we want to do this for stuff that's below us. So let's try this. Does it do anything? I'm not sure. I don't see it. Uh, nothing below it, it says. Let's move up one. Whoops. God damn it. Let's try this again. And that's better. So now we can put, oh, well, at least two sheep that are below us on the leash, so you can see. Whoops. Let's go over here. You can see, whoops, uh, you can actually see the leash. They are leashed to the drone now. And now, if we... I said I'll use this later. This is a tablet with the command program in it. So I can command it from out here. At least try to... Hello, sheep. Uh, I can then tell the drone to move. Let's say this is south. So that should be... Positive. What is it? Positive Z? I never know. Uh, no, it's positive X, isn't it? Let's see. No, that's there. Anyway, that's fine too. And you can see it drags the sheep along. And now let's be evil and move up a bit. And that also works. So you can use this to move your entities. Just be careful. Because if you're evil, like me, you can do stuff like this. And that's not very healthy for your sheep. So yeah, that's basically... No, not component. Computer shut down it for the drones. Uh, when they run out of power, they turn off and slowly fall to the ground. And that's about it for the drones. And that's also about it for the Christmas update. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy playing around with these new little toys. Uh, use them for item sorting, for whatever you want. I'm looking forward to what people will do with them. And I wish you a very Merry Christmas, and, well, see you around.